Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another let's make a game programming kind of thing. Um, so, I really like um, ambient sounds, and to give you an idea of what ambient sounds are, it's um, playing rain in the background, or playing a fireplace crackling, or something along that lines. So, I went today and uploaded a whole bunch of different ambient sounds into Roblox. Uh, they cost like $35 or 35 Robux a piece, so I don't want to waste it, and um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to do a, a quick little game, I guess. I guess it's not really a game. Is it a game? Yeah, why not? We'll call it a game. So, let's just do, uh, let's do this. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't like whenever spawn pads can be seen, so I'm going to turn off, or turn the transparency up to one, delete the decal. Spawn location, can collide is no, and anchored is true. So, that should give me a starting point. Zoom. There we go. So, let's do this. Um, highlight that main area, and we're going to go to orientation position, zero comma, zero comma, zero, and then hit F, that way I can see it, and then we're going to add another part. Um, let's add the cylinder, we're just going to rotate it up on its end, yoink. Oh, have to turn off collisions. And it would be nice to have an exact rotation. There we go. And then I'm going to flatten that. Holding shift. So it. Oh, hold on. Holding control. Yeah. Hold control so it goes in both directions. And then. How, how do I stretch on all sides? It's not alt. Shift. Shift only does the one side. Control shift. Ah, there we go. So I'm just gonna make that big and then shrink it back down. So this should be the main little area. Uh, I'm going to make sure that that's anchored real quick. Anchored. I'm going to do shift or control D to duplicate. I'm just gonna call this the um, main floor. And this will be the main walls. And then I'm just going to stretch that up there like that. And that should be good. Right there. Okay. I want this to be hollow on the inside, so let's do um, shift, no, control D to duplicate it. But then I'm going to use control shift. I'm going to make this come down just a little bit. And then we're going to make that a negative. Hold shift. Grab the main walls. Union them. That should be hollow. Hey. Nice. So if I press F5, that should take us on the inside. Oh, no. It did not. Why did it not do that? Oh, because it thinks it's a solid object, doesn't it? That makes sense. Hold on. Um, maybe it's because... That. There we go. Now I appear on the inside. And... Let's hit stop. Um, let's see... So, is it, this should still be at position... Still not at position zero, zero, zero. Hmm. Did it move? Oh, it's because it's up. Right. Whoa, whoa. What happened to the floor there? The floor kind of came out a little bit. Um, why did the floor come out? Let's take a look here. Position. Zero comes zero, zero. And then we're going to just raise this up. Move it upwards. Right about there. That'd be good. 
Now I need to punch some holes. So, uh, let's go ahead and create another part. It's going to be a block. And I'm going to make this about the size of, uh, let's see, is this at position X zero and Z zero. There we go. I'll make this the size of the doorways that I want. Come on. There we go. And then uh, hold control shift. Oh, whoa. Okay. You come back down. And you come back up. Nope, it's not shift. What is it? Is control? Yeah, it's control. There we go. So that's about the width of a door that I want. So let's uh, let's go ahead and move that down inside. And just to there. So it's just barely touching. And if I hold, switch to scale. Ah, control Z. That way I can punch it through both sides. But we're actually going to do this. Control D and duplicate that. Rotate. We're rotating at 45 degrees. So now I should be able to click like that. I'm going to select the original. So we have both. Control D. And we're going to rotate one, two. So now I should get six doors out all the sides just by using four parts. I'm going to make these all negative. And we're going to, oops, hold shift. We're going to select, oh wait, union has to be the last part. And then union, sweet. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> So what I've done is uh, I'm basically making a starting point that has all these different doors that you can go through. And each one of the doors, oh yeah, I forgot. I've got a script that I've already put in there. Each one of the doors, oh, thank you for the subscribe. Uh, Lisa Andre Perez, appreciate it. Each one of these doors is going to lead to a different environment where uh, you're going to have those different sounds that I was talking about. Um, let's see, I'm going to need to have... Let's see. Let's go ahead and create a new part. And we want the X... The X and the Z at zero, so it's directly in the center. And let's see. Okay, Google. What's 45 divided by 2? Come on, Google. Could have done it faster on calculator. In fact, I can. Let's do uh, calculator 45 divided by 2. 22.5. So let's do 22.5 degrees for our rotations. And. Let's make these walls. Um, I'm gonna hold. Oh, gotta hold control, and we'll make them make them a little thin. Hold on, Control Z. We'll make them one stud thin. There we go. But I want these to be way up here, and then holding Shift. Oops, no, holding Control. I should be able to split them out, but I don't want them exactly right there. I want them to be like right here. So let's uh, do the rotate thing. And there should be an exact measurement. Yay. So that's the wall that I need. Ow. Now I'm going to need to duplicate that a uh, whole bunch of different times. So, Control D to duplicate. Um, let's do rotate again. Oops, come on, rotate. Oh, I was already on rotate, so it didn't know what to do. <laughs> There's two. So that this is equal to just one room. I'm gonna have to uh, 
Let's see. Control D. There's three. Control D. There's four. So that will split off all the rooms. But what I'm going to have to do from there is all four of these parts need to be duplicated a second time. So now I should have two sets on each side. So uh, let's use move. Now notice how it's in a global manner. So like this is moving on the global axis, not a local. I'm going to press control L and that changes it to local. What that means is I can now move it along this axis and it will be okay. There we go. There's one. There we go. Is that, it's probably not far enough down, but that's okay. Uh, excuse me one second. By the way, I, I've got a new drink. It's called uh, Bowels, B-A-W-L-S. It's a Grana drink. It does contain caffeine, about the equivalent of a, uh, a coffee. 64 milligrams per 60, uh, per 10 fluid ounces. Mmm. It's very, uh, oof. <laughs> it does taste very vanilla. Like, I can taste vanilla in there. So it's, it's pretty good. I don't know what height these are at. Does it really matter? That looks like it's at 14.18. That's probably because of the height of the uh, the cylinder when I first placed it. But that's okay. Pull this one out. Right there. Uh-oh. There we go. I want to be able to just barely see it and the wall disappears below. Pull this one out, pull down, nope, there we go, and we're almost done, almost done. By the way, this is not going to be a full in-depth tutorial, it's just, you know, me playing around with script programming, <clears throat> and to be truthful, I have not messed with my lumber in almost four weeks, so over a month. So, please don't be bad, mad at me. I am just plain, just having fun. Oh, did I anchor all those? I completely don't remember. Eh, just in case. Alright, so if we hit F5 on this, we should now have different rooms and environments that we can... What in the world? What am I stepping on here? What? Okay, those worked. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not sure. Hold on. Can I see what's going on in the client side? Uh, let's see, under test, there should be a way to see the client, or the, the server side. Maybe that's in multi uh, multiplayer only. Or I'm just not seeing it, who knows. Ah, currently client side. This way I'm on the server side. What am I stepping on? I guess it's part of the union, I guess. Here, let's hit stop. Um, can we ununion for just a second and see? Let's see, separate these out. Yeah, we should be good. Maybe if I scale, can I scale up? There we go, let's try that. If I just scale it, does it? Wait, what's this? Oh, 
Okay, stop, stop, stop. Um, let's go ahead and take this out. Because I want the local sound to be... Okay, stop, 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 stop. Let's go to player scripts. Delete. There we go. That'll fix that problem. <laughs> now can we go up? Alright, there we go. No! <laughs> okay, I'll have to figure that out. This one we can do, and then this corner we cannot. So it seems like all of the 45 degree angles are messed up for some reason. Yet. Alright, so stop. <clears throat> Okay. Can we back the walls off some? Hold on. Okay. Does it allow me to... Let's see if that was the problem. If the walls were just too close. Nope, I can get out there can't get out there. <laughs> but there's definitely something weird going on. Like, what is that? What is that? <sighs> okay, stop. Hmm. Oh, you know what I can do? I can just delete that. There we go. Uh, actually, here. Let's do Control Undo. There we go. And then for this, I'm just going to delete the whole thing. And let's duplicate this. And we're going to move that up. There we are. It's not quite as uh, fancy, fancy schmancy, but it will work. I hope I anchored it. Did I anchor it? Yeah, I anchored it. Okay, cool. So each one of these will allow us to get out. And I don't like the lighting either. The, how it's got that weird dark shadow on it. <clears throat> now, should I try doing another cylinder around the outside of these? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. All right, so we're going to duplicate this. Um, I need to scale. Oh, what in the world, Control Z. Shift, no. It does not like shift. Control Z. Control. There we go. Mm, that looks like that's going below the ground. There we go. Let's pull this down to there. And let's do shift. No. Did it again. Control. Um, just to the outside like that, and then same thing on this one. There we go. Ooh, I did have one that was a little too high. Okay, I can move that down. Because they're all the same size. Now, I need to make this hollow, so... This main floor is going to be called... Outer... Building. We're going to do Control D duplicate scale hold control and shift I go down one and make it negative shift that way and shift that way oh wait 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 control Z so I can't do that whenever it's negative you have to do that when it's a positive shift in that way shift that way I can do negative and select the oops select the outer building just like that union uh, is this anchored make sure it's all anchored all right cool so here we go it's 
Seems kind of small. I bet I can make that bigger. I don't like that there's still this weird, <laughs> weird shape change going on here. Hmm. Okay, let's move on to the sounds and the regions. <clears throat> so, um, let's do a cylinder. Okay, so I want a cylinder right here in the middle. Part, cylinder, and we're going to make this part um, 0.75% transparent. And I'm actually going to give it, let's see. We're going to call this um, music, no, ambient underscore none. So then I can rotate this uh, up on its end, its axis. Wait. <laughs> you just roll it over, code. Okay. Um, this one. There we go. And we're going to make sure that its position is at zero, whatever, zero. So it's directly in the center. And then to scale it, we're going to scale the top down and the bottom down. Oh, uh, just like that. Control shift should do all sides. And I wanna make sure that it's touching the entire inner rim. Oops, control V. Shift, nope, control. There we go. Control shift, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Good. So there's just a barely an out, outer rim around the inside. Uh, I'm actually going to give this a light source. So let's go ahead and add uh, point light right in the center and brightness give it actually no let's not do that let's actually change the lighting we're gonna change in lighting oh whoa, whoa, whoa. um outdoor ambient brightness to color shift technology voxel hmm Yeah. Wow, that's like really bright. Whoa, where did I get stuck at? Oh, it's not anchored. You silly, silly goose. All right, let's back off. Anchored. I've been doing that with everything else. Oh, I can't walk through it. <laughs> okay, stop. Uh, can collide is no. Try that. Mm -mm. Why did it pop me up there? I don't want to be up there. Mm. Hold on, can I grab that one? And we're just going to scale that up. Did it go outside? Yeah, it probably did. There we go. Please don't jump me outside. Oh, it did. <clears throat> That's one thing about spawn locations that I can never understand. Like, I want to be at a very specific location or locale. Why then would you pop me up above a part that doesn't matter? Ugh. Stop. Let's go ahead and get rid of that cylinder because I want them to appear inside. <clears throat> okay, let's move on to some actual scripting because I'm already 24 minutes into the video and we haven't done anything. So, which by the way, this is uh, very cool. So the, the sounds, I want to be able to, uh, let's just create a new part in here. Uh, do, 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 do. Block 
and I'm going to color it pink. That way I can tell that it's a block that's supposed to trigger a sound. And let's see, position. I guess position doesn't really matter. What does matter is um, let's do ambient trigger. And we're going to add a local script. Because I, I want this to only be for like one person at a time. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> now, um, let's see. I do need to add my sounds into here. So, in replicated storage. Oh, I already did. I have, well, I started to. Um, ambient underscore space. So let's uh, let's choose my sound. Um, hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to go and grab the sound. Where is um, view toolbox? Yeah, it's toolbox. This is gonna be um, audio, and it's in. Where's my audio? Inventory. Audio. My audio. There we go. So fire, forest, ocean, rain, space. There we go. Oh, oh, it just added it in there. Nice. Okay, I don't remember which one it actually is, so we're just going to delete all those. Um, let's do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. That should be six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think that's how many rooms we've got, if I remember right. Maybe not. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, Six. Oh, I guess I've got two extras. I'll have to come up with two more songs. <clears throat> um, but each one of these... Oh gosh, did each one of these get a... Uh, they did. Darn it. Each one of the ambient triggers got a local script, which I didn't want to do that all with the same one. I want a single script to be on all of these. What in the world? Why did these all get seated? Okay. One more, one more. So you can see what I'm talking about when I say ambient sounds, like this ambient space right here. Um, here, I've got to stop the music for just a moment. I know, boring, eh. I don't know. I I put this on and I start programming. <clears throat> uh, ambient rain. Ocean. A fireplace or a campfire. A brook. And a forest. So that's what I've got right now. I've got those six sounds and I'm gonna make it where when you walk into one of the ambience it turns on the sound and then when you walk out of it it turns back off. And that's it. That's that's the whole point of what I'm making. So, you know, nothing complicated or convoluted or anything like that, but that's what I wanted to do. So, let's put these, uh, select all of these, and we want to do loop. Where's the loop? Looped. There we go. And, um, let's 
see. Hmm. I guess I could put it into... Okay, each one of these has got to be called one of those sounds. So, ambient forest. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Oops, ambient brook. Oh, sorry, and I will put on the music for you in the background, so it's not quite as boring. Ambient fire. Ambient ocean. Gentle. Now I could have created all of these with scripts and placed them with scripts. I'm not going to. This is just me playing tonight. Ambient. What was I, what did I do? Rain. And then there was one more down here at the bottom. Bottom. All right. These. Um, besides base plate, all of these. I'm going to group together in a model. I'm going to call it the building. So the, the building itself is all that. Oh, uh, that should probably go in there as well. So then this gives me room for to play with all of these. <clears throat> and I'm going to... One, two, three, four, five. Oh, which one did I miss? Ambient space. Let's see, let's take all these and we're going to group them into a model and call them, oops, call them triggers. So, uh, and then I guess I could do this, group those into a model and oops, call them sounds, just like that. <clears throat> so, this should, should work. Um, maybe. I am going to have to, like... Mm. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, come here. <clears throat> you. Scale out here. Scale that way. Scale that way. That is pretty good. And then this one, let's do rotate. And since we're using that 22.5, um, this should actually work out pretty well as well. Scale. Scale. Not quite. Um, is there a position off somehow? some exact movements in here. There we go. Alright. What about this one? Was this one off? Nope. It's got it's got whole numbers, so this one should be good. There we are. Is it a little bit thinner? This one is an exact measurement as well. Nice. So now we'll move over here. Scale. Ah, control C. I should really lock the building, shouldn't I? Can I lock the whole thing? <clears throat> oh, 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 no, I don't want to use that tool. That's, eh. <clears throat> I'm supposed to teach that tool and I, I do not like it at all. All right. This seems off. Are we off by angles? Can't really tell because I can't see the walls. It's because nothing's textured. Hmm. Wait, can I do uh, all the walls at one time? I bet. 
Why did you get stuck into a building? Hold on, you come back out. There we go. Delete that. Okay. If I right click, select all the children, I should be able to give it a different material. Can we do concrete? Oh, that's kind of scary. Um, what about granite? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Uh, what kind of color do we want? Should we do a dark gray? Ooh, that's kind of cool. And it gives me perceptive, perception so I can see. Okay. So let's keep going. That was nice. I'm glad I did that. And right there, right there. Push back one there. And do, do, do. there we go. <laughs> I really like this piano, by the way. It's weird because the perception of the camera, like this piece looks longer than this piece, but the moment I turn to look at that piece, this piece becomes longer. Field of view, crazy. And they're really not different, they're, they're about the same. So let's do rotate. That's why you always wanna be looking directly at an object whenever you go to turn it or move it or model it. And you don't have to, I mean, it's just choice. <clears throat> that one's not on exact measurement, so... Take those out, take that out, there we go. So now that should be good. There we go, good, 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 good. good. Alright, I don't know if they're all the same, so, oh, that one's too big. There we go. I don't know if they're all the same size, but they're pretty close. Uh, so each one of these has its own name associated it, associated with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a local script inside here. Um, let's see. New script. Script, script, script. Local script. We're just going to call this... Um, Trigger scripts. Trigger script. And what I will do is um, triggers equals, uh, let's see, script dot parent. Um, ooh, I can't, I can't do that here, can I? Okay. So I don't want anything inside the models themselves. So let's take this trigger script. Let's pull it out. Where should I place the sound? Should it be under the GUI? I think I want to play the sounds under the GUIs. So let's cut that. Uh, starter, starter script, starter GUI, paste into sounds. Okay. So. Trigger script, to get started, we're going to go, um, local triggers, triggers equals workspace dot triggers get children. <clears throat> this way, all the children of the triggers model are here. So function, uh, local function, um, play song, <clears throat> or play, let's do triggered, triggered, and we shouldn't need a sound, so, for i, index, O object in pairs, I pairs, um, triggers, ouch, do O dot touched, 
Is it touch start or touched? Hmm. I can never remember. So let's do uh, workspace dot triggers dot ambient brook dot touched. So it's that one right there. Dot touched. We want to connect triggered. So what this does, um, we're going to pass in the thing. Hmm. How do I know which one it is? Oh, 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 print script.parent would be workspace because this is only going to be inside one thing. How do I know what was touched or what we ran over? Oh. Here, we can do this local current trigger equals blank just like that so <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's still not going to work because I'm not going to be able to pass in the object that was touched I can only pass in the part that touched the object not which part, which object was touched. Hmm. What I could do is also do this. Local function set trigger. So. No. because it still doesn't work for that object. Wow. All right. So I thought I was going to be smart about this, but I can't. Let's just delete that. Delete. Deleted. So let's go back over to the triggers. I am going to create a local script for each one of these, which is a horrible way to do it, but I think that's what I gotta do. Because I gotta know which one it is. So, uh, current song equals script dot parent dot name. So, mm, let's see. Let's call this the trigger song. Trigger song. And we'll make it local. Oh, and can you guys even see that? Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. It's been so small this entire time. So what I'm going to do is um, the name of the object that we step on is going to be the, the local trigger song name, if that makes sense. And then um, songs, local all songs equals uh, game, no, replicated storage. Where did we put it? Oh, we put all the sounds in there. Uh, darn. Let's put it back in workspace. <laughs> For now. It's gonna be uh, workspace dot sounds get children. <clears throat> so we're gonna get all the sounds and put them into all songs. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating over here because I'm like, I'm really worried that I've forgotten so much that I can't script anymore. Ugh. Which is not true. I'm just rusty, that's all. And I'm not in it every single day, so I'm okay. All songs, workspace.sounds, get children. What am I doing? I need to stop all the sounds whenever this is triggered. So, script.parent.touched connect trigger. And then we're going to create a song or a function uh, local 
function and call it trigger. Uh, oh, oh, no, let's just say part because we do need to check to see if the part is humanoid. Um, <clears throat> so local hum equals part dot parent dot uh, our colon get first child and we're going to call it humanoid root part so what we're checking for is to see if the part that just touched us is human if hum then if hum then hum then get it like human all right so if there is a human uh no, it's not get first child, it's pfft, wow. Find first. Find first child? Oh my gosh. Why is my brain not here? It's just not working at all. It's find first child. It's gotta be find first child. So if we are a human, we want to stop all songs, which is going to be a function. Uh, function, we're gonna call this local function. Stop all songs and for index object of i or in i pairs, all songs do. O dot colon stop. So that will actually go through each one of our songs, which is inside the workspace, and it'll hit stop. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Then we're going to do uh, workspace dot sounds dot Oh, find first child trigger song, which should be the name of this this script's parent colon play. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. You know, you know, what? Is, why is this not working? Oh, because I tried to call it before it was declared. This has to be above this. And if you got triggered while I was programming, please let me know down in the comments. Do I have to take that out? I do have to take that out, don't I? Stop all song songs. So it's not local. Well, it, it is local now. All right, hold on, pause. This is gonna crash. I, there's no way I programmed this right the first time. And which one was it in? Well, none of those worked, so that's a that's a good thing, I think. Um, ambient Brook, which is the second to last one, and let's just do um, up here at the top. If human print uh, trigger trigger song, comma, and then triggered. Like that. That way I can see if the actual trigger is working. Second to the last one. It's not working. Why is it not working? Stop. Is it the human check? Did I did I do this wrong? Uh tell you what, let's let's comment these out. Can I just hit tab to Ah Let's go comment that out. So this way. No, it's not working at all. Ouch. <sighs> okay, local script. Does it have to be a... Oh. Oh. Maybe. It does have to be a actual script script. 
it does have to be a script, doesn't it? Um, okay, so we can't use local script. Let's just use a script script. Local script should be empty. Is that right? All right, close, close. Try that. Okay, what is this? Ambient broke triggered. Wait, uh, workspace dot triggers dot ambient broke dot script seventeen. Attempted to index a nil value. Workspace dot sounds dot find first child trigger song. Is that uh yeah, that's what we called it. <clears throat> Do I have to okay? Workspace dot sounds ambient brook ambient brook all right i'm just going to copy oh i did spell it wrong out of all the ones i could have spelt wrong <laughs> silly goose Ooh, ooh, we got sounds. It's trying to play it like a billion times. Okay, stop. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so let's put back in our human check. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay, so hit play. Hopefully. <laughs> Uh, and we'll check this out. Uh, okay, so I want to do um, play song equals, and then we'll do that if play song dot um, plain is it plain <clears throat> yeah plain equals false then play song in play end so that should make it where we only trigger it one time if uh, if the song is not playing, so that's kind of like a debounce. So right now it's not playing, not playing, not playing. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Uh, let's do. Okay, I've got to be doing that wrong. So let's do print play song dot plane. So we should see some stuff in between there. Plane equals false. Really? Because it sounds like it's playing to me. Yeah, it's plane. Oh wait, did we stop all other sounds first? And now we're checking to see if it's plain? <laughs> okay, here. Take that out. Only if it's false shall we stop all songs. There we go. There we go. And that sounds like it's right in my ears too, so. Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. Oh man. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, I really love the script script. Let's delete that one. 
And we're just going to do duplicate, move that one into fire, duplicate, move that one into forest, duplicate, move that one into ocean, duplicate, move that one into rain, duplicate, move that one into space. Horrible, horrible way of programming, but here okay looks this ambient forest play song was a nil value okay so forest do we not want to have call do we not have one called forest oh the actual name of the M B N, and you know what? The spelling could be completely wrong, but as long as the spelling matches the object in the name, I'm okay with that. So, all right, last one. Yes. So, uh, I'm probably gonna see if Jack can do this for me, but I will give him access. And each one of these rooms that you walk into have uh, have just a huge, like picture or maybe an animation of some kind of each room's environment that you can walk into. I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, <clears throat> that's what I have for you. That's what I was going to do for tonight. And it was just a creative idea that I had sitting there in my cubicle at work while I was sitting there, you know, programming away, listening to ambient sounds. I thought, you guys don't really have anything like that on, you know, Roblox. You, you don't use Roblox Game Sandbox for applications. But what if you did? What if, like, instead of pulling up calculator, you pulled up your scientific Roblox calculator and it has an interface? Or what if you start using Roblox as business applications, applicable ideas? Um, database carriers, who knows? There are different applications that you could put Roblox through that aren't just games, you know? Or simulators, or tycoons. So, anyhow, thank you everyone for watching this episode of uh, <laughs> Let's Make a Game. Uh, it, it, it's not polished, it's not complete, but it is a game, or an application whichever one you want to call it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end. I know the scripting was not advanced tonight, and I probably made a bunch of mistakes that I could probably go through and fix, uh, you know, grant given time, which is something I'm very short of. But I love you guys very much. Have a great night. We will talk to you very soon. Uh, did I say don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe? I did, right? Whoa, why did it? disappear like that. That was weird. Maybe there's a bug. He gives me something to search for. So, all right, guys. Outro. Thank you.